All right, guys, welcome to Row Company new update. Looks pretty cool. Never mind. Actually, this is Apex Season 7. I was joking, guys. Sorry. I know it's a bad joke, but this is Season 7. I am back in Apex, and I think I'm back for good. Um, I have a lot of good thoughts in terms of my impressions. Uh, I am taking it back to playing Bloodhound, my original main, when Apex came out to just see how well I do. This is my second game on the new update. It looks really good. Uh, shout out to Bloodhound Bot. I challenged you on the kills that I got in this video, but uh, if you guys are wanting to uh, check out some cool gameplay, he does some really cool stuff on uh, Bloodhound. Uh, so he's really cool. He's on YouTube and he streams too. So uh, check him out, but let's get back to this. Uh, my thoughts on this as I talk about the game too. Um, man, they've done a lot and they've changed this game where it feels completely new to me. Uh, that being, because I haven't played this game in about two months. I've uh, been playing Rogue Company for a very long time. You guys have been seeing my content. Uh, it switched from Apex to Rogue Company. Um, and I know a lot of you were asking, man, are you gonna do any Apex videos? So here we're back with it. Uh, but man, like the, the map in itself is huge. Uh, the vehicle is super sweet. There's actually some cool hacks you guys can do with it. And I'll do another video in terms of some hacks that I did on my fourth game. Uh, but playing the second game, uh, the first game I got shredded, I got beaten on real quick because again, the controls are totally different and you guys know that my skills in this game is not uh, the greatest. It's not um, super accurate like Rogue Company, so I do have potato shots, guys, so I do warn you, I am good at this game. I don't think I'm great, but I'm good. I can hang, but uh, man, like this, this map has so much vertical. Um, and levels it's not flat there's buildings there's so much death there's like a building where there's like a maze of a freaking room where you're trying to figure out how to get out um, it's like in the section where like there's like these twin towers and stuff like that that are like standing on a building and all that's crap but man this game feels really good um, I have no complaints uh, I do like the new additions I know people were going against the whole vehicle aspect but I think you know with Battle Royale games, um, needing to adapt from other styles, which I think it's always important to adapt and not stay stale. Um, I think the vehicle just gave this game another variable that makes it much more fun. Um, it just, you know, gives you um, a lot more things to do. Um, try to get to one section of the map, uh, create content, um, you know, get um, pretty much like you can go OP with the vehicle and, and uh, third party team real quick. Um, so it's really cool when you see all these things uh, in the game. Um, so, you know, right now I am picking up the vault and triple take. I think having a mid range and long range weapon is critical in this map just because it's so big. Um, I feel like it's bigger than any of the maps that I've played. I just, I just think there's so much going on and it's just a new landscape. Uh, whereas the previous two maps, Yes, they were um, different, uh, but this I feel has a lot more uh, to do. So right now I'm trying to get with my teammates. As you guys know, we you want to get looted up and uh, make sure you guys are ready to go when you guys go to fight these enemies. Uh, but man, like, you know, it being my second game, I played a couple games afterwards. Um, I did lose pretty bad, but I've won a couple of more. Um, I think I've won uh, about five games on my first day back and that says a lot because usually I don't win a lot. I get close to winning or I get close to getting to the final um, like teams. Uh, I, we can get there, especially if I have a good team. Um, if, if I have a team that's like really new, then yeah, good luck with that. But I'm okay, I'm, I'm pretty good. I can handle myself in terms of going 1v1. Uh, you know, 1v2, I gotta get lucky on that situation. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. So. Um, let's get to this. Let's talk about what I'm doing in this gameplay. For any of the new players that are watching this, uh, I've made Apex videos uh, before. Um, I know when you guys watch my content, um, it might be a little dated. And I've heard people say, well, this is not season six. That's not the point, guys. Um, the reason why I do that is for people that are new players to see uh, teachings of the characters. I totally understand that the, that the season is not the current but it helps a lot of people and that's what I'm trying to do. I know for the ones that have been veterans, you guys already know, it's like an old video, 
but it's just here to help people and um, kind of just uh, give them some guidance in terms of like what to do, what not to do uh, with the characters and what guns that I'm using. So it's all for me to teach. But here, man, like this section of the map, like these little like rooms, that's pretty sick. Like the detail, the color, man. And, and let alone, they said that this was supposed to be a Titan Fall 3 map or a Titan Fall 2. I'm, I'm not sure on that, but here we go with some snipers. Again, I have potato shots. Some of my shots weren't hidden. Little suspect guys, because uh, I'm pretty good with the sniper. Well, actually, I'm not good with the sniper, but see, look, look at that. What? It went right by his ear. At least a little bit, you know, a little damage. At least give me one. Because I can tell my teammates, I got him one. All right, load it up. And Bloodhound, you guys already know, for new players, Bloodhound is basically a UAV. He scans. Um, I've gotten this wrong before. I know this, guys. It's not a 360 scan. It's just like a 180 scan, frontward, whatever you're facing. Uh, and it's really big in terms of identifying where the enemies are. If you guys hit your ultimate, you guys can do scans, I think, every five seconds or every three seconds, which is OP. Because then if you're knocking down characters, you're adding more time to the ultimate, which makes you jacked up. And you see the outlines of the enemies. You're in red and all that's crap, but it's pretty cool. So let's get some shots. Any Shroud fans here, you already know. I'll get that shot right now, I think. But let's see. I'm just playing sweaty right now. You know, I'm trying to not make any noise. Do you guys crouch? Oh, am I getting late to the party? All right, let's get jacked up. Oh, oh, I'm gonna try to go. Oh, never mind. Start sliding. That was a nice, nice move right there. Oh, 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 there we go, baby. So if you guys are peeking next time, just cover because I'll take you out. I was just lucky with that one, actually. Never mind. I'm not really that good with the sniper, guys. I just like the triple take. Again, my preference in this map because you can hold your distance and if they get close, Switch to that bolt, the R301, R99. Now the R99 is a regular weapon to pick up. Uh, yeah. But man, like this game is fun. Uh, I've had a lot of fun uh, playing it and uh, it was enjoyable. Um, I was trying to play Rogue Company as well, but it was just like glitching out with their server. So uh, at least this game came through with the update at night. But yeah. All right, let's see what we can do. Let me actually fast forward this a bit, guys, because I usually do this on my videos for Apex. So I want to get you guys some juicy content uh, and not bore you guys. You know, you guys probably are sleeping right now. You're like, who the hell is this dude? What does he think he is? Here we go. So we have a vehicle. Uh, I forget the name of it, guys. It starts with a T. I'm just, you know, going freestyle on this video, but uh, Trident, I think. It sounds like a toothpaste, but that vehicle is super dope man you can ride three whips and ride them all around you know you guys can go crazy you guys can do a little bit of bumper cars like those guys are doing right now like but um you can also do some cool stuff in terms of like putting uh caustic traps on the vehicle so you guys are pretty much toxic while you guys are driving that's pretty insane uh, but yeah man like right now you're gonna see me not somebody again shroud level watch Hold your breath. Patience, it's key. Reload. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, baby, baby, baby. You guys like that, huh? Hit the like button, please, guys. Hit the like button, because I usually only get one like for my videos, and it'll be very cool if you guys can give me at least two likes. That deserves at least two likes. All right, let's get sweaty. Now, you guys know, with Bloodhound, you gotta play aggressive. No stepping back. You're not a medic. You're here to kick some butt. So, there we go. Go to sleep, dude. Uninstall the game. Do whatever you can or go play another game. All right, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving and grooving, baby. Okay, there goes another guy over there. Oh, he's running away. All right, you know what? You know what? I got 10 seconds. Let's run. So, you know, with Bloodhound, he's very fast. He's jacked out of his mind. He's ready to go for this kill. But remember, 
you can uh you know sniff and see the movement of the characters as you guys can see the footprints so i know where he's at remember loot those boxes because there could be armor something that you guys need maybe that mobile respawn beacon respawn beacon sorry uh, but yeah make sure you guys loot up but if you guys are goaded do what you guys got to do i'm swipping uh swipping i'm swapping oh my god i can't even talk why because i had low ammo on my triple take so you want to make sure you guys have enough ammo with your weapons all right we heard some action this one's actually interesting guys uh is this the video this one is interesting they're all at the bottom of the map so this one is pretty cool because this is a no-no play we have the height advantage remember guys height advantage is everything there goes a dummy dummy got taken down go to sleep buddy all the enemies are on the bottom of this platform i believe most of the teams so this team the ones at the bottom need to come up we have the advantage because we can anticipate the movement anticipate when to attack whereas they have no visibility of what's up here if we had uh caustic obviously throw some traps um but yeah you guys see the ability of the new character that one's pretty sweet it's like a black hole sucks you in um you could jump out of it you just got to keep jumping and you'll pop out but it does disorient you it's 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 pretty insane and then her passive or the tactical uh elevates you to higher heights which is awesome it's basically like an octane um you know those little jumpy thingies but it's better so we see an enemy back here i don't want to use all my weapons uh all my ammo i mean because they're already dead all right so i don't want to use most of my ammo so remember guys we have the height advantage they got to come up i did a scan you already know they're down there all right here comes someone Oof, going against a red shield shield up you're gonna keep popping up remember reload here goes another one that goes pathy i think yeah almost we got her nice all right i'm gonna get fully loaded my teammates went down to play sweaty so let's get this Look at that. Damn. Pretty good team, man. Pretty good team. So this is pretty fun, man. Like, it being the second game, I was like, damn, I got a good team. We're already playing sweaty. I still got my potato aim going on, so yeah. And I like the new character, uh, especially if you have them on your team. I haven't been able to play her yet, uh, but when I do, uh, I'll definitely have a guide for her. So I'm trying to drive, but you already know. When I drive, it's all GTA, baby. Now, I'm gonna park it here because I don't want us to be exposed. There's three teams left. So I'm parking it here on purpose. So we could kind of like, you know, think about what we're gonna do. Or just third party. Because you knew I was right now. When you guys third party, that's the way to go for this game. You do not win if you can't third party. All right, I already know they're at that bridge, so I'm gonna get jacked out of my mind right now in terms of hitting the ultimate. All right, so let them fight. Remember, just don't expose yourself until you hear. There we go. It's us and them. All right, time to go. So this makes me jacked up. I got 32 seconds. If I do a knock, it adds time. I can do the scans every, what is that, eight seconds? I just saw my screen. All right, there we go. Knocked one. There goes another one. Look at my time, I'm at 20 seconds. That's a lot of time for me to do another knock. Oh man, potato shots. I know guys, don't, I don't even need to hear it in the comment section. Let me play my game. And you guys can see what I'm about to do. Obviously Volt is not a gun for me. If I had the hemlock or triple check, I can control it. All right. Enemy is at that rock. All right, look at your health, look at your shield. If you're low, 
Step back. See, if I went sweaty, they would have closed in. So I'm holding this area so my teammates can do the revive. So I'm just pressing. I'm just pressing. I know I'm low on health, but I'll do it right now. Teammates are up. We're good to go. Let's run it back. All right, I'm getting closer with them. <laughs> they get in the, the vehicle ready. All right. All right, they had a Wraith uh, on their team, so they obviously went and teleported on the other end. There goes the ability. Nicely placed for my teammate. I get that. We thought they were there, but they actually teleported uh, a little further down the map. We hear footsteps. There they go. You see her? It went all the way down there. All right, so remember, it's it's uh, three versus two. Now, one of us could play super sweaty, but then that makes it even. You definitely want to have that extra player. So we definitely need to play it safe. But sweaty. With a little safe. All right, we see them two there. I see with my scan. Yeah, shield up. That's a fake. All right, let me get my angle. Remember, I could jump over. I was trying to do the wall hang. I couldn't do it on this wall. So then I can give my team some intel. See, I, I couldn't do it. it. It didn't allow it. But at least I saw them. So, okay, cool. Do a scan. Get ready. There goes Wraith. We got her weak. Cool. Now she needs to heal up, which is going to be very hard right now. Now that we're pressing, I'm going to go over. Take her out. Knocked. And then we see Mirage, which is really bad for him to stay in that corner. So I'm going for it. Forget about me shielding up. I can take him out. There he goes. I think that's him. Or he's over here. Never mind. He got me. I got Jukes. But he's done. Champion, baby. And the kill leader. Game two, baby. Bloodhound bot. What do you got on this, man? Let me know. I'll take you out too, buddy. This joking, man. But yeah, it was a good game. Um, very fun. Uh, hopefully you guys got some like interesting feedback, some insights on how I play Bloodhound. But man, seven kills, over 1,000 damage on my second game back. Not bad, I'm not a 2K guy, I'm not a 3K guy, but I can get those kills and I can get that damage. So uh, you guys let me know. If you guys are trying to recruit me on a, on a squad, let me know. Uh, but again, guys, I'll leave it here. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Let me know in the comment section, uh, subscribe, uh, like the video to help this video grow. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next Apex video. Thank you. Later.